Hi, I'm Richard Chambers, news correspondent here at Virgin Media Television. Let's chat. Trump's Last Stand is a new Virgin Media News documentary which myself and cameraman Owen Kelly spent a couple of weeks working in the States on uh, around the backdrop of the midterm elections last November uh, in the States. But we were looking to sort of see what's behind all the political division, all of the conspiracy theories, all of the violence we've seen in American politics since really the arrival of Donald Trump. I think the most strange and surprising thing that happened when we were at the Trump rally was in a place called Latrobe, Pennsylvania, which is a tiny little town uh, way out in the middle of the sticks. It is incredibly rural. So we met a guy there, Mark was his name, originally from Ballantyre in South Dublin. He's been living in the States, I think, for 14 years, and he is up to his neck in conspiracy theories. And while it was very, very strange hearing him say that things like those Irish albums or those annuals like Sport and Sonus and Spree uh, were the reason that he got into conspiracy theories, it was kind of sad in a way as well because obviously he's lost his family and his friends uh, because of his beliefs in these really deep-seated conspiracy theories. And he effectively believes that Trump is on a mission from God to save America. And when you hear all of these things coming from an Irish accent in the middle of America, that really is, that really is quite a strange thing. So this might sound a little bit weird, but one of the most prominent theories in American politics at the moment is QAnon. And QAnon, people might have heard of it because it became quite known around the January 6th riots on Capitol Hill. It's a completely baseless conspiracy theory that Donald Trump and JFK Jr., who of course is dead, uh, JFK Jr. under QAnon is still alive. And both of them are on a mission from God, effectively to rid the world of a global elite uh, who are running the world from behind the scenes. And that, I mean, some believers of QAnon believe Princess Diana is also helping uh, to pull the strings behind the scenes uh, to save the world from this, you know, uh, cabal of people who are unfairly ruling the world and are this one world global government. And that Donald Trump has this huge role in this. So this is why you had people storming the Capitol trying to keep him as president and overturn that election because they believe that this is a mission uh, which is inspired by the divine, that he is sent on a mission from God. And that is a very, very difficult thing to, to, to try and take people out of. Once they believe that, once that has, you know, inserted itself into their mind, it's very hard to deprogram that from people. And it's had huge, huge impacts on people's lives. It has devastated friends and families and just really has cut people off from any sense of reality as well. And it is something which we aren't immune uh, from uh, here in Ireland as well. There are Irish QAnon believers. There are people who follow very similar conspiracy theories. And I think it's something that we need to be mindful of over the last couple of years that since COVID and the pandemic, uh, conspiracy theories have really become much more part of life in this country too. Ooh, it depends on who the person is, but the most basic question which always unsettles them is how are you? Uh, or, or what have you been up to? If, if they're expecting a very serious interview and you instantly take them off into a personal mode, you're absolutely unsettling them. Uh, you could ask that even midway through the conversation. Uh, it actually is probably the best time to do it because it completely throws them off. If they think they're getting a grilling on one thing and you just hit them with, how are you or what are you doing for the rest of the day? That just completely softens it up and it does change the tone of the interview. So that's something which I always do work in, uh, especially if it's a minister who doesn't want to answer your questions. You can just hit them with something like, how are you or what, what are you doing for the rest of the day? And it just unseats them. And then you can go back to those questions which you asked earlier on which they didn't want to answer. Works a charm. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> you can't use my own powers against me.